Praise the Lord. It's Sunday. How many can shout an amen for Sunday morning? <laughs> the day we get to come and worship the Lord and hear a great message. How many is ready today? How many has prepared your heart before you walked in the door that you're going to worship him? Look at yourself and tell him, my soul shall worship my God. Amen. Stand on your feet and let's go to him and worship. Thank you, Father. Look at your neighbor and tell him, my God is a good God. All the time. He is good. Yes, he is. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. All the time, all the time, my 
a good thing to get up and awaken your soul to praise your God. Amen. <laughs> That's what we come to the house of the Lord for. Amen. You can do it anywhere you are, but it's so good to come with your brothers and sisters in the Lord and to worship him, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. No matter what level you're walking at, he is still God. Amen. He is still Lord. He is still victorious. And he is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we're so excited that you guys are here. We are excited about this service today and what God is going to do. We've already been a-worshiping for the last hour and a half. And I'm telling you, it is in our spirits this morning. So I hope you came with your hearts ready to receive of what God has put on the table for you this morning. He has prepared it all for you. All you have to do is partake of it. Amen. So don't sit back and just be uh, stand off and look and just looking at what's going on. I can't think of the word I'm trying to say, but be partakers in what God has for you this morning, because the Holy Spirit is going to fill this place from the front to the back, from the side to the side. And whatever you came today and you have need of, he is going to fulfill that this morning. Do you believe that? Hallelujah. Come on, give him another shout of praise. He's worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Well, we know that you are excited to be here too, and we want you to step out and make somebody else feel welcome. Find somebody that may have walked into these doors for the first time and wrap them up in love this morning. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's go.
He still knows where he wants you. And amen, right now he is working it all out. And be still and know that he is God this morning. Father, we give you thanks. We see the King of glory coming up on the clouds, Father. Let your spirit move in this place today, God. Oh, God, fill this place with your anointing and with your power, God. That, Lord, every heart and every life would know that they have been in your presence. Father, we want to know you in a greater way today, God. Move in our hearts, Father. Move in our hearts, God. Oh, move in our hearts today, God. We praise you, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you, Lord. Look at him. I see the King of glory coming on the clouds with fire. The whole earth shakes. The whole earth shakes. Yeah. Holy Spirit, fill the place, God. His love and mercy, and it's washing over all our sin, and the people sing, the people sing, come on, cry. 
our hands one more time and let's give voice to praise right now give voice to rejoicing in the king of kings and the lord of lords the fairest of ten thousand hallelujah to god hallelujah hallelujah glory 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 oh come on i know somebody's got a praise in your heart come on let it out God is here right now. He is here in this place. His glory is upon us. It is time to arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord is upon his people today. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus. I want to ask our prayer team to come and stand here and as they stand I want you to be aware that there is no darkness that you will ever face that is greater than the light of God's presence and glory that will shine upon your life shine upon the situation you will never encounter an opposition that is greater than the glory that lives on the inside of you because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world Whatever you're facing today, whatever circumstance or situation that seems overwhelming to your life, it is not greater than the power of God to penetrate. It is not greater than the power of God's Word to reach into that situation and break through into that circumstance and turn it around and bring glory out of, that, out of the midst of that situation that you're facing. We can call upon him who is worthy. Call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. If you're facing a darkness or a situation and you need somebody to pray with you and be in agreement with you, we thank God for these prayer warriors that are with us today. They will agree with you in prayer and they will, they will stand upon the word of God and the promise of God for your life. Feel free to come. Feel free to make your way here. And let's look to God together this morning as we look to Him. We worship you, Lord. Holy Spirit. There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope, your presence, Lord. 
Cause I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of love Where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone It's in your presence, Lord Oh, so Holy Spirit, you are welcome here Come flood this place and fill the Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Oh, your presence, Lord. Oh, God, there's nothing worth more. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living home. Oh, come on. Do you believe that this morning? Your presence, Lord. Oh. the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone in your presence Lord oh so holy spirit you are Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord, oh, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come plant this place and fill the atmosphere, your glory.
Every one of us need what, what Becky is getting a dose of. I want about triple what she's getting over there. Praise God. Do you love the Lord this morning? Come on, give him some praise and give him some glory and honor today. Jesus, Jesus. Praise God. Just touch somebody next to you and just lift up a prayer before the Lord. Just minister to them. Hallelujah. Carrie, what is your friend's name here? Jackie. I was watching Jackie just reach out to God. She came to this church when she was a real young girl, and Carrie was the children's worker. And when she got older and could make her way back, after they moved back, she said, Carrie, I want to come back to church. And I watched her sit here just being overwhelmed by, by God's love and grace and mercy. How many of you know God is just, he's just loving us this morning. I feel it. Father, we just bless you. We just join together in agreement right now. I just pray, Lord, for the covering of your spirit. 
over every person, over every family that is represented in this place, God. We just thank you that you're exalted and high and lifted up over our lives tonight, God. And we just speak your glory upon us, God. Thank you, God, for a saturation, a superabundance of your anointing, God. I thank you, Lord, for an increase of what you're doing in our midst, God, over every life and over every heart. We bless you today, God. We honor you today, God. Thank you for entering prayer in this altar service. Thank you, Lord, for healing people in our church, God, that sickness and disease are being taken out of the midst of us, God. And we're your people. We look to you for our healing and wholeness and health, our peace, our joy, Lord, today. Thank you for wisdom, for direction today, God. We bless you. Impart it into your people. And thank you for your touch. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah. Everybody said amen. amen. Hallelujah to God. Turn around about three people and tell them it is all good in this Holy Ghost neighborhood. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Brother, I tell you what, it's good to have some of you back. I uh, haven't seen you in a while, and it's good to have you back in the house of the Lord today. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Praise the Lord. Amen. My wife, are you going to share some testimonies? Y'all know she got back from uh, suffering for Jesus at Destin, Florida. And... Uh, all that tanness that you see on her, don't, don't, don't let her, don't let her make you think that was she got too close to the glory. Cause no, she was out on the beach enjoying the sun. That's what that is. That's her story, and she's sticking to it. Huh? The glory is on the beach, isn't it, Ruthie? <laughs> Well, it's good to be back to Life Fellowship Church, and I do have to say that I did miss y'all very much. I really, really did. I know I caught myself this morning just wanting to give everybody a hug because I've just missed y'all so much. But we do have some great things that's coming on at Life Fellowship Church, and uh, we are just excited about what God is doing. And if you are a guest here today, we're just thankful that you joined us. We're thankful that you walked into the powerhouse of God. We just invite you just in, uh, to fill out a connection card right in front of you and drop it in the offering. We'll send you more information about our church and just keep you informed about all the exciting things we do around here because we always have excitement, don't we? And if any of you have a prayer request or a praise report, just take that opportunity with a connection card and fill that out and drop that in there because we want to rejoice with you. We want to pray with you. We want to believe God with you because we know God is doing great and mighty things. And just in your bulletin, you'll notice there's some things coming up. The men's breakfast is this coming Saturday here at the Life Fellowship Church at 8 o'clock. And men, y'all are going to have an awesome time, awesome ministry, and a wonderful, wonderful breakfast. We have our Kids Life Children's Church. Um, they have been doing the quest, which is the pirate theme. And they next Sunday is their final Sunday of that particular series. And you're not going to believe what they're going to have out here next Sunday. They're going to have a boat in the parking lot having some of their sermon preaching from the boat in the parking lot next Sunday morning. So you've got to come and see that. So, And then also parents, uh, all the kids are going to be dressing up as little pirates next Sunday. So if you can help them out, um, you know, just maybe a little headband or something. Uh, but they're going to be dressing up, so help the kids dress up, even down to the nursery. Let, the, let them dress up, too. They're going to have a great time. And then also we have coming up, what is it this week, ladies? Yes, ladies meaning happy to be me. And as Danny was talking about the, he said, do I have a testimony? And the first thing I thought of, I'm happy to be me on the beach last week. So <laughs> that would be my testimony. But this coming Thursday, you know, we have a lot to be thankful for. And as ladies, this is going to be a powerful ministry. We're going to, ladies, we're going to have fun. I promise you're going to have a great time. We have wonderful prizes. We have a spa package. We have makeup. We have facials. We have cologne. We're giving away all kinds of stuff that night. But the most important thing that we're giving away is the story of Christ. And the message that's going to be preached this coming 
Thursday is just is so powerful. I am so excited about that. So, ladies, invite your best friends, your coworkers, your neighbors. Let every woman that you know come be a part of this. This is something that's going to be min- a powerful ministry. I've invited my daughter, and she's coming all the way to H- from Houston to just for this ladies' meeting. So, just I'm going to invite some of my neighbors too. But, ladies, we're going to have an awesome, awesome time. And you have right after church is your last time to buy the little coupons for the little baskets. And we will be giving away the baskets in announcements time next Sunday morning, okay? So we're ready for prizes. And you know what? All those baskets out there, when we were planning this, I thought, I'm going to save that for Life Fellowship Church. Because I know, ladies, we've got presents for you got for you ladies on Thursday night. But whenever y'all are buying a ticket, it goes to support this ministry that's going to be happening on Thursday. So I thought, I want the people who support the ministry to win the prizes. So that's why we're going to give them away at Life Fellowship Church in announcements next week. And Carrie keeps saying she wants the spa package, but we'll see. We'll see how well she does. But So you can buy those coupons right after church. Just put it and mark each item that you would like to win. So God bless you, and it's good to be home in Kennedale, Texas. That's just wrong, isn't it? Happy on the beach to be her? I don't know about that. She called me, and I was on the way to the hospital. She said, what are you doing? I said, I'm about the Lord's works, what I'm doing. What are you doing? She said, I'm about the Lord's creations, what I'm doing. I love my wife. She's a wonderful helpmate in the ministry. Amen. And I mean that. Glory. Y'all need a smile out there on that one or something. I do mean that. She's a wonderful, wonderful wife. Y'all ready to give to the Lord this morning? Oh, let's have some cheerful givers. Give the Lord a praise. I was reading uh, in Luke uh, chapter 8, verse 1, and it came to pass afterward that Jesus went throughout every city and village preaching, showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. And certain women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, of whom he went, who went out seven devils, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, and Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others who ministered unto him of their substance. And when I was looking at that, I thought, you know, money, money has a ministry in and of itself. They minister to the Lord. There's many ways to minister to the Lord. And how many of you know one of the ways we minister to the Lord is of our substance? And they, they were touched by the Lord. And they were delivered by the Lord. And they wanted in turn to be a blessing. They wanted other people as he continued on to other villages to be blessed and to be healed. And they wanted to support the work of God because they had experienced God's touch. And it said, and many others, other people had Situations where the Lord had ministered to them. We don't know all what it was, but there's many testimonies in that one verse of Scripture. They, too, gave of their substance. And they said to themselves, we may not can go everywhere and do what he's doing, but we can give of our substance. And I just want you to know, as you give of your substance today, thank God you're helping the kingdom of God advance in Kennedale. People are being blessed and touched and healed. How many of you can say at some point in your life that you've had love, healing, or new beginnings at Life Fellowship Church? Amen. We all have. And we want that to continue and to be a blessing. And I'm so thankful for your faithfulness. When we uh, give to the Lord, we're not doing the Lord a favor. We're just doing what is right to do. He said, bring all the tithes into the storehouse and see if I will not pour out a blessing that you do not have room enough to contain. And so we're here today to be faithful. We're here today to be obedient to the Lord. We're here today to give and worship the Lord out of our own substance, something tangible, our finances. And as we do, we want to worship the Lord in our giving today. Amen? And so make sure you put it in the envelope so we can mark it. And we also, it's a way to, to get uh, uh, where we know you were here and you were present. And also, if you're here as a guest or you have a testimony, as my wife said, or a prayer, prayer request, make sure you put it on the Life Connection card. And uh, we do emails a lot, not uh, at least two or three times, uh, at least twice a week, sometimes three and not to overload it, because if you're like my emails, I get some every day and sometimes twice a day from churches and so forth. And I'm thinking, overload, not, to, not so much. So we don't want to overload you, but we do want to communicate with you and get information to you. 
Amen. Make any check out to LFC and may God bless you as you give today. Come ahead, ushers, and let's receive this offering in the wonderful, wonderful name of Jesus as we minister to the Lord out of our substance today. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this moment. We're so